Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the first things that you should do after setting up your uh, Redmi A5. So as you can see here is the Redmi A5 and it was just set up and I'm gonna show you um, the things that you should begin with to make your experience better but also to uh, just have all the things that you probably would still need to do um, just behind you so so you can have everything done uh, one of these are for example this notification which I'm gonna get to later uh, so let's begin by going to settings and connect to Wi-Fi network if you haven't done that yet most probably you already have but if you haven't go to network and internet then internet and find a wi-fi network you want to connect to you may need to enter its password if it's locked if a, with a password once you're connected go back uh, to the main screen of settings and scroll all the way down to system then go to system updates and it's very important to update your device so it runs smoothly securely and has the newest features so i'm gonna click on check for updates I don't have any available, you can see it says my system is up to date, but if you have any updates available, you should click on download and install and wait for the updates to get installed. Uh, I mean, while it's being downloaded, you can still continue to use your phone, but later on it will prompt you to restart your phone in order to apply the update. Once the update is applied, you'll be able to go back to using your phone and it'll be all done. Then we can go to the next step, which is signing into Google. There is a high chance that you have done it, but I'm going to show you how to do it just in case you don't know how um, or just follow what's being shown here. So we'll go to passwords, pass keys and accounts in settings. Then if under accounts for owner, you don't have any Google account, you, can cl you, you should click on add account, then click on Google. And now let's wait until it checks some information and then you can log in if you already have an account or if you don't have a Google account, you can click on create account. I already have it and there's a high chance you also do. So let's sign in. Sign in. And then click on next and enter your password, which I'm going to do off camera. Now select who will be using this device. Uh, so since I, I will be using it, I'm selecting that and most probably you also are setting it up for yourself. If you're setting it up for your child and select the second option, the further steps may vary a bit. So just follow the instructions on screen. Then click on next and you need to agree to Google Terms of Service. Without that, you can't uh, add the Google account. Now uh, you can select whether you want to back up your device's data and if you don't know then I'd, uh, I'd suggest leaving that enabled so you don't lose your data in case anything happens uh, to your device. Uh, it'll just be backed up to Google and you can restore it on your new device if you log into the same Google account. Now we can go back and since we have that added, we should update our apps because updating apps is important for the very same reason as updating your system. So let's begin by uh, system apps, which are also in settings in system apps updater at the top. Uh, now you can see that I have only music app to update. I'm going to update it um, just in case. Yeah, I think there is like a problem with it, so I'm just gonna like leave it. Maybe I'm gonna do that later. Now let's go to Play Store to update all of the other apps that are provided by Google, or if you've do downloaded anything already or transferred apps from your old device, then you should also um, update that frequently. So let's click on Get Started in the Google Play. Then I'm gonna skip additional apps 
and I'm gonna select to use my password to verify my purchases because I don't have biometrics set up just yet but I'm gonna show you in a moment how to set up your biometrics so you can unlock your phone with that. I'm gonna use the password of camera and now you can see uh, this is how it all um, looks if you click on the profile icon in the top right corner you can go to manage apps and device then updates available and I, pre I suggest clicking on update all and you can continue to use your phone in the process so let's get to the settings in the settings um, I'm gonna set up the screen lock uh, and biometrics so um, go to security and privacy then device unlock screen lock if it's set to swipe or none i would highly recommend setting it to pattern pin or password but before you do that please make sure that you set it to something that you'll remember because in case you forget your pin pattern or password the only way to restore your phone is to erase all the old data that's on it which means uh, that everything will be deleted from your phone and you'll still need to know your google account password to unlock it after the hard reset uh, so please make sure that you remember your screen lock uh, but also set it to something that's hard enough to guess but most important is to remember it so I'm gonna set it to something simple enough that I remember though if you want, if you feel like it feel free to set it to something difficult but remember it then uh, you need to re enter it twice whether it's pattern, uh, pin or password you always need to enter it twice then confirm and uh, you'll see lock screen mm, uh, notifications and what I prefer is to show sensitive content only when unlocked and when locked I'll only see the name of the app I've got a notification from but I won't see the content of that notification now let's click on done and my screen lock is set then there is fingerprint and face unlock let's click on that and enter my screen lock first then I can go to fingerprint and set up my fingerprint of course if you want and it's pretty secure um, because you know fingerprints um, are different in for all people and also it's very convenient since it works pretty fast so I'm gonna set it up now let's click on more more and I agree then you need to touch the sensor which is built into the power button so you need to touch that with your selected finger release and tap several times remember to move your finger between your scan so it scans the whole area of your finger and also enroll the edges so it works in all different grips then you can click on done you can also add another fingerprint and go back then there is also a face unlock which i'm not gonna set up because i don't recommend it a face unlock on this phone bases on the on the camera there are phones on the market that are based on ir sensors but this one does not belong to that group which means that uh, the phone can be unlocked with a photo of you or by someone who looks similar to you uh, so i want to recommend setting um, up the face unlock now as i lock the screen i'm gonna show you how to unlock it in two different methods so the first one is clicking on the power button swiping up and entering your screen lock the second one is simply tapping on the fingerprint sensor you don't need to click on it just tap on it you can see how quickly it works um, now since we have that set um, we should see if we have the Google Wallet app but before we do that I'm gonna explain what Google Wallet is for uh, because sometimes it'll be it, you may not want to set it up uh, it's um, an option to pay with your phone in stores by tap to pay you can add your payment card to your phone then tap your phone to the card reader and simply uh, pay with it um, and it's great you don't have to reach out to your wallet also it's pretty secure since it is bank authorized 
and provided by Google and requires your phone to be unlocked during that. Uh, so if you want to set it up, feel free to go to Play Store and see if um, there's like Google Wallet. Let's search for Google Wallet. I already have that, so I can just click on open. Then I can click on add to wallet and select payment card. Then you can scan it with your camera or enter the details manually. And then you may need to confirm with your bank. Now it's some something is updating right now, so it won't work now, but uh, I think it will in the future. So as I've shown you, you can uh, then add the uh, card uh, Confirm with your bank via message, phone call, or the bank app if you have it. And then uh, to pay in stores, your phone first of all needs to be unlocked. Then I think you may need, you can slide down from the top of your screen, slide down again, and let's see if there is the Google Wallet app. If it's not there, let's click on the edit button and see if it is available. So um, that'll let us, yes, you, you can see the wallet You can simply drag it somewhere to the list. Then go back. And as I click on the wallet here, it simply opens the wallet app and then I can tap my phone to the reader. You could also just open the wallet app from the apps list and now let's go to the last step, which is finish setting up your device. So uh, we are not bothered with this notification later. Just click on start. Then if you want to insert a SIM card, free, feel free to do that. Then uh, I'm going to click on skip. You can insert your SIM card at any time you like. And if it doesn't recognize it, just restart your phone. Then it asks you if you want to set up using another device and uh, if you do, then do that now, because if you skip it, there's a chance that it won't be available later, because the option to natively copy settings, accounts, apps, data, images and stuff uh, from your other device, the native method is only available if you're asked that. So it's about four times, two times during the setup process of your um, phone and two times in the post setup notification. This is the first time I'm asked that. And if I skip it now, I'm, I can't really be sure if I'll be asked uh, like the second time. So if you see that and you want to transfer, do that now. Or uh, if you really, if you skip it, you can use it, the third party apps, but um, and unfortunately it doesn't work as consistently and as conveniently as it does with the native method. So I'm going to skip it because I don't have anything to copy from. But if you select to copy, it'll give you very intuitive steps. So don't worry about it. And then I'm going to draw my pattern for some for some reason. And then it asks me to unlock with face. And as I said, I don't want to set it up. It even says here that your mobile phone may be unlocked by uh, the person or item that is similar to you. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just don't want it. And then uh, if you want to copy apps and data, this is the last time you'll ask, you're asked that. I'm going to click on copy. And then if you want, you can enable nearby share so other Android users um, can share files with you. I'm going to agree to that. Why not? And then let's let's click on continue here <sighs> yeah continue then uh, it says about google pay but this is like the google wallet i've already uh, explained that and here you can do a few additional things i'm gonna click on no thanks and now everything is done. I hope that video was helpful. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.